I want to talk about a commonly used function on the iSolar Plus control and it's called Arrangement 3. And basically what that's for is for the, a backup heating source. If you have a solar tank and you want to also fire it with a boiler on an upper coil. Now if you happen to have an iSolar 4 control, it's called Arrangement Number 2 in there. So that's a little confusing, sorry about that. But Arrangement 3, what you want to do is um, go in and I'm going to show you how to enable that and some of the settings you have to do. And what Arrangement 3 really is, is that um, it's a thermostat function. So it's just going to turn on a heat source until it gets to a certain temperature and then turn off. Now to use this arrangement, you're going to have to put a sensor on number 3 on here because that sensor is going to go at the top of the tank because we're just looking at the temperature at the very top of the tank. We're not concerned with what the solar can do. So let me go into that and uh, we'll, we'll fire it up here and I'll show you what's going to be different. So there we've got it in Arrangement 3. Now as you start scrolling through Arrangement 3, it's going to have all the same functions that Arrangement 1 had. So I'll go back to Arrangement 1 uh, um, episode and watch that because I just want to get down to the settings that are different from this. So you scroll down through all the typical settings for your solar, your delta T on and off, your step, your rise, your minimum pump speed, your tank temperature. And then you're going to get down here ways and you're going to come to one that you haven't seen before because it only comes on when you go to arrangement 3 and it's called AHO. And what that's saying is after heat on. Now I call it backup heat, some people call it after heat, but that's just the on temperature of your backup heat source. So let's say it's a boiler and you don't want your tank to go cold if there's no solar. You've got a couple days with no sunshine. So factory setting, the factory default is 110 degrees. So at 110 degrees, upper tank temperature measured with sensor 3 again it's going to turn on your backup heat source and it's going to go up to AHF which means after heat off and it's factory set at 120 degrees so it's just going to keep the top part of your tank between 110 and 120 degrees now we've enhanced this function one step further and we've put a timer function so you can block that out and here's an example how that would be used you're going to go to work at 8 o'clock in the morning. You want the solar to have the first shot at warming up your tank. No sense in kicking on the boiler if it's going to be a sunny day and you've got the potential to gain some solar. So block it out. So say at 9 o'clock I'm going to work. Don't let the boiler come on or the after heat or the backup function, the boiler, whatever it happens to be, the heat pump maybe. And we're going to block it out until let's say we come home at noon. We might want to take a shower after we go to the gym. Let's let it come back on at 11 o'clock. It's going to assure that we've got hot water at the top of our solar tank to take a shower, do the dishes, whatever you want. Block it out again until you get home at 4 o'clock, kicks on. Now certainly if the solar came on, it's going to heat the tank. But those are the functions you have in this Arrangement 3, within Arrangement 3 I should say. And you've got the ability to put three blocking schedules in there. T1, T2 on, T2 off, F, T3 O on. T3F off, so you can block that function out three different times during a, a period of a, a day. And uh, that's it. It's a really, it's probably the most often used arrangement when you have a backup heat source in, the, in addition to your, um, your solar in your tank, usually a dual coil tank when you're doing that. So arrangement three, there you have it.